Cisco Remote Expert. Remote Expert is built on top of Cisco's award-winning Unified Communications Technology Suite. It enables omnichannel interactions by connecting the right person with your customer at any place and the right time. Remote Expert offers three deployment options, namely kiosk, mobile, and immersive. Remote Expert plugs right onto your existing Cisco collaboration solution, maximizing the return on your investment. It adds two software components, namely REM for Remote Expert Manager, which sets up the sessions between experts and customers, and IEM for Interactive Experience Manager, which centrally controls the Interactive Experience clients located at your branch locations. Here is a summary of the components required by each remote expert deployment. Telepresence endpoints for customer and expert stations, unified communications manager for call control and signaling, contact center enterprise or express for expert identification, media sense and queue for audio recording, video on hold, or video in queue use cases, MCUs for video conferencing, and RE Manager for session orchestration. And now a quick demonstration using the components listed here. Here is a side-by-side -side view of the expert and the customer stations. On the right-hand side is the touch enabled screen powered by the in-branch interactive experience client. Shown here are six types of financial services with four language options. Selecting a service is as easy as touching its picture. Similarly, language can be changed to French, which re-renders all text on the screen, and German, Spanish, and back to English. Everything shown here is customizable to align with the services offered at this branch location. On the left-hand side, is the web-based Finesse desktop for the expert. It's also easily customizable to provide the single platform that experts need to service their clients. Shown here are two gadgets on Agent John Smith's desktop. There is a built-in make a new call gadget that allows John Smith to place outbound calls and the remote expert gadget that's powered by the remote expert manager. So let's go ahead and change our state from not ready to ready so we can service calls. Great, so simple. Eric and his family have decided to buy a new home. So next day, Eric walks into the local Francisco Finance branch in his hometown to explore financing options. Since the local specialist is out that day, Eric is offered to speak with a specialist at a remote location. Eric agrees and is taken to a conferencing room where the Cisco Remote Expert solution is deployed with a high-definition immersive Cisco video endpoint. Eric touches the home mortgage and while waiting to connect with the expert, he's watching this promotional video streamed by the contact center of Francisco Finance. In the contact center, <clears throat> Agent John Summit receives the call and he knows who's calling, from which branch, and why they are calling. <clears throat> he clicks on answer on his gadget and at this point 
A video call is established between the two video endpoints, one in the branch and one that Agent John Summit is using. What we're looking at here is the finesse desktop that shows the content for Agent John Summit, as well as the touch enabled screen that is now showing the maximized logo of Francisco Finance. And this is a customizable action. The remote export gadget shown on the Finesse Agent desktop has a multi-frame interface with each frame providing John with a tool for effective collaboration with Eric. These frames can be minimized in order to maximize the available space. Here in the customer frame, John can add or search for Eric's account record. Since Eric is an existing client, John can see the previous <clears throat> interactions with Eric and read any notes as required. Using the document frame, John can browse the list of available documents, maximize the view for better reading, and share a document with Eric by hitting the print button, which will send a request to the interactive experience controller in the branch to print it out. After the document is printed, Eric can fill it out and place it on the scanner for John to scan. Similarly, in the video frame, John can browse the available videos, watch them if necessary. Look at my shopping the same way you would when shopping for clothes. And stream them to Eric's touch enable device for Eric's review. He can stop anytime, stream another movie as required. Great. Here at the bottom of the gadget window are a collection of other collaboration tools. This is a customizable area. Links can be hidden if the functionality is not enabled at the branch location. Some of the applications we see here are co-browsing, which allows John to see the touch enabled screen that Eric is using. Scan, as mentioned earlier, allows John to grab a scan document from the scanner attached to the touch enable device. Signature capture is another useful tool that John can use to capture Eric's electronic signature. Again, using the interactive experience client that pops up the signature capture window right on the touch panel. Eric can sign it and send it to John. And John will receive Eric's signature. He can download it to his desktop and save it for future reference. And there are some other tools as well, long pan, session result, and so on. In addition to these powerful collaboration tools, John has another application right on his desktop, which is called Direct Connect. Whenever John wants to share an app from his screen with a customer, 
he can join direct connect to the active session and then select one of these applications that's already open on his desktop and let's go ahead and share recently sold homes in Brookline as soon as John selects this window a green frame is wrapped around it to inform John that the window is now being shared the remote view mirror within the direct connect application displays what the customer is seeing on their touch enabled screen whenever John switches windows as we saw here the green color changes to red to keep John aware of where the window is regardless of what John might be looking at the customer continues to see the shared window John's navigation within the window is reflected on the customer station as well in order for Eric to have similar navigation control John has to allow it he checks the allow interaction button which gives Eric the navigation control as well Eric can close the tab click on a different home to discuss with John and so on John can stop sharing when it's no longer required and go back to his finesse desktop as the call comes to a wrap-up John can enter a wrap-up reason using his call control gadget thank Eric for calling and end the call right from his gadget at this point the video call is disconnected meanwhile on Eric's touch enabled screen a survey form pops up requesting his feedback and this is a customizable action since Eric thinks he had a productive call he decides to take the survey and answer these questions and wraps up his day at the branch thank you for watching